In the previous lecture, we understand how to create a callback and make a code asynchronous. The another way to create asynchronous code in JavaScript is using promises. Promises are one way to deal with asynchronous code without getting stuck. Promises have been part of language for years. Promises are introduced in ECMAScript 15 and have recently become more integrated with sync and await function in ECMAScript 17. So let me first explain what is promises. Promises is a way to execute the result of an asynchronous function as soon as possible rather than being put at the end of the call stack. Promises is the class so we need to create an instance of the class and then initialize it with a function and then specify function as a first parameter. Let me show you how to create a simple promise in JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here let then specify a variable name here. I'm going to say promise is equal to and then I'm going to create a new instance of the promise. So here I'm going to say new promise just like this. So this will create an instance of the promise class. And as you can see, we have the executor as a first argument to this class. So here I'm going to specify function. And then here to this function, I'm going to specify two argument. Here I'm going to say resolve and reject. The promises have two states, resolve and reject. Using resolve and reject, we can communicate back to the caller what the resulting promise state was and what to do with it. So just out of this parameter, I'm going to pass body of this function and inside it, I'm going to call set timeout function. And in this function, I'm going to simply call a callback function. And here I'm going to say resolve. And in the parenthesis, I'm going to say run before. And just start that, I'm going to specify timer 1000. It means I want to execute this promise after one second. Just start that, specify semicolon. And down here, I'm going to call a method then of promises. So here I'm going to say promises dot then. And here in this method, I'm going to say result and then specify arrow function. And here I'm going to specify body of this arrow function and then specify console.log and then specify result just like this and just for that down here just after this curly braces I'm going to pass a second argument to this then method so here I'm going to say error and then specify arrow function to it and here I'm going to say console.log and print error now this is how you can simply create a promise in JavaScript now let me explain all these lines one by one. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple variable promise and then specify an instance of the promise class. The promise class have a constructor as a function. So we're going to pass here function as an argument. The function have two arguments resolve and reject. Using this resolve you can return the successful result and using reject you can return the error message or you can say the error result. So you can notice here we use here resolve. So I'm going to call here set timeout and return this result run before after one second. I'm going to use this result as a function and return a result. This function is going to return a result once the process is finished. So when this set timeout function finish this process, the result is going to return this result to this then method. And in this then method, we have two arguments. First is the result and second is the error. Using result, you can get the resolve messages or you can say the result data. And using reject, you can get the error messages or you can say the error data. If I return here reject, then it's going to execute this error function instead of this result. And when we call here resolve, it's going to execute this first argument of this then method. The promises is going to execute the first argument when the promise return resolve. And if the promise return reject, this then function is going to execute this second argument. Now let me execute this file and show you the result. I'm going to save the changes and execute this file. When I execute this file, after one second, I'm going to have a result run before. So the promise is going to return this run before to this result variable. And I'm going to just print that run before text on the console. Now what if I return this reject? Let me show you what happens if I return the reject. The second argument of then function is the function that runs when the promise is rejected. 
and receive an error message. Using then, you can execute a function in a synchronous way. You can specify which function to be executed after using then function. Here I'm going to say reject and in the parenthesis right here, I'm going to say here new and return the error message. So here I'm going to say error and in the parenthesis, I'm going to say whoops. Now when I execute this file, you can notice the promises is going to execute this second argument of this then function because we return reject from the promises. Now let me show you what is the benefit of using promises. So for example, let's say you have here a function and the name of the function is get after and in this function you have a console message console.log and in the console.log you have a text print after right. Let me just call this function down here just like this and don't forget to return resolve using promises. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to just say resolve get rid of this error message and here I'm going to say run before save the changes and execute this file. When I execute this file as you can notice I'm going to have this print after console message before this result. So how can I execute this function after this run before text? To do that you just need to execute this function after this console message. So when the promise return resolve result I want to execute this result as well as this message print after. So instead of specifying this get after right here I'm going to just specify that just out of this result right here. Save the changes and execute this file again. Now as you can notice after one second I'm going to have both the result. So the promises is going to make this code asynchronous. So what is happening here when you execute this program the new promises instance is created. So once this promise is initialized with this resolve and when then function execute this first argument it's going to print this console message run before and call this function get after this one and print this message print after. So this is how you can create a simple asynchronous code in JavaScript. There are many other things as well you can do with promises. We'll talk about that later. This is very simple example of promises. Next we'll talk about async and await functions.